Hi Year 6, um, I'm here to introduce you up to you our new story, If. It's a brilliant book and I'm really excited, and Mrs Costa's really excited to share this with you this term. It's a mind-bending way of looking at big ideas and big numbers. If I show you the contents, you can see it covers all sorts of different topics, um, for example, energy, our galaxy, our planet, the continents, inventions of the last thousand years, food, your life and so on. So this week we're focusing on the first few pages and I'll share that with you now. If, how big is Earth or the solar system or the Milky Way galaxy? How old is our planet and when did the first animals and people appear on it? Some things are so huge or so old that it's hard to wrap your mind around them. But what if we took those big, hard to imagine objects and events and compared them to things that we can see, feel and touch? Instantly, we'd see our world in a whole new way. That's what this book is about. It scales things down or shrinks them or shrinks huge events, spaces and times into something that we can understand. If you've had a doll or a model aeroplane, you'll know what scaling down means. A scale model is a small version of a large thing. Every part is reduced equally so that you don't end up with a doll with enormous feet or a model plane with giant wings. And when we scale down some really huge things, such as the solar system or all of human history, some of the results are quite surprising, as you're about to see. The first page is all about our galaxy. If the Milky Way galaxy was shrunk to the size of a dinner plate, our whole solar system, the sun, the planets, would be far smaller than the speck of dust, too small to see. The visible universe, on the other hand, would be about the size of Belgium. The Hubble telescope can see approximately 3,000 galaxies. If each of these galaxies were represented by one dinner plate, there would be a stack of 3,000 dinner plates, about 115 metres, that's 375 feet tall, roughly the height of a 38-storey building. Amazing. With the whole universe, in the whole universe, there, are, would, there may be more than 170 billion galaxies, which is mind-blowing. If each one of these were a dinner plate, the stack would be about 7,720,000 kilometres high, 17 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. When we measure the distance in space, we use a measurement called a light year. A light year is a distance that light travels in one year, and it is huge. I'll show you that number as opposed to reading it. Our solar system is about one hundredth of a light year from side to side. The Milky Way galaxy is a hundred thousand light years across. The visible universe is estimated to be about approximately 92 billion light years across. So the universe is 920,000 times larger than the Milky Way, and the Milky Way is a hundred million times bigger than the solar system, which is mind blowing. So this week you're going to be learning about um, the Hubble Space Telescope. You're going to be looking at planets and all sorts of other activities and thinking about what a futuristic world could be like. And you can be as creative as you like with that. But also looking at the planets and their size compared to everyday objects. If the planets in the solar system were shrunk, were shrunk to the size of balls and Earth was the size of a basketball, Mercury would be the size of a table tennis ball, Venus a tennis ball, Mars a golf ball, Jupiter an exercise ball, Saturn a beach ball, Uranus a basketball and Neptune a football. The Sun would be bigger than any ball about 10 times the diameter of Jupiter. One of your activities this week is going to see if you can find replica objects scale down the planets. So that's the start of this book. Each week um, Mrs Cross and I are going to share a few more pages with you and we hope you love this topic as much as we have enjoyed planning it. See you soon!